Hi all, welcome back. Uh, today we are going to design a new app. Okay, the which app I have to design, I have no clear idea, but I have a very uh, vague idea. Okay, there is one app which is running in my mind. I can do this particular app by using a local no code tool or maybe like a completely no code tool. Okay, okay, so let us dive in. We transform dot com. It, it it does the same thing. Like uh, you can add a file, you can add a file, and then you can uh, like you can have like you can transfer the file, and you can send that to the related person, and the person can get a shareable link, and then download the file, right? So this is a simple tool which is there like we transfer. So we will try to do the similar type of tool by lovable dot com, right? So lovable create a app where a user can share a file which can be can be uh, uploaded so uh, user can share a file which can be shared as a link to the receiver receiver however <clears throat> to upload a file user should uh, sign up right uh, and for the receiver receiver uh, no need to log no need to have a login this is one of the uh its condition okay so now uh apart of this uh have uh have a landing page landing page which provides provides this which provides the features which provides the feature basic uh uh animation on uh uh, basic animation on login or uh, basic animation on uh, maybe you can say like uh, functionalities functionalities and maybe like uh, so once this is done uh, maybe you can also uh, post which in the landing page okay maybe you can have have a login logout logout scenarios link to gmail link to gmail or maybe like a github maybe i think we will keep similar to gmail as of now later we will do it for uh, other part uh, gmail for quick sign up sign up and sign in okay uh, what are all the things you can have have a pricing scenario have a pricing uh, pricing scenario or maybe like a pricing uh, profiles like uh, uh, pricing profiles with the three categories with the three categories as uh, light pro and advanced okay with different pricing tires okay and functionalities so now this is one of the app which i'm thinking later on we will uh, add the prompts so that we can i'm having a starter edition where i can do this uh, with 100 uh, credits right so we will run it out now so now you can see the code is spinning up the preview it will uh, read through my uh, business uh, scenario and it will also uh, give a suggestions saying what it has before it even uh, code generate it gives me a clarity of thinking whether uh, this is what it is uh, doing or, or not right say so, yeah, i'll create a beautiful file sharing application with a modern design that allows users to share files securely through links let's build a share flow 
a sleek file sharing platform inspired by services like WeTransfer. <laughs> I have not even specified WeTransfer or any of the things. You can see of it is uh, saying it out. For this first version, I will focus on creating an attractive landing page with feature showcase and animated illustrations, authentication system with email and Google sign-in options, file upload functionality for registered users, shareable link generation for recipients, no login required, and pricing plans for three light, pro, and advanced. So it has understood very nicely about uh, what all the things have specified it out. We will see how the things happens. So now when the things are happening, you can also go to the DAO mode, right? So in the DAO mode, you can see the number of files it is getting created, right? At this point of time, it says like uh, the entire, uh, uh, what do you say, skeleton of the uh, application has been created. Now, if you go over here, so it is writing a navigation bar right it is uh, taking down to the navigation bar if you click here you can see how the code is getting generated uh, at this point of time so you can see you can change the palette and you can also change the gradient of different colors right once it's generates you can give a suggestions but make sure you keep in mind that uh, whenever you give a prompt uh, all those are getting consumed in the credits right so make sure you give a prompt in such a way that you cover maximum scenarios right so okay we will see how the things were happening we'll go switch to raw mode so we will come over here spinning up the review now it is creating the footer.tsx okay so now you can see the final part so i will say share flow.in this is the custom domain which i purchased separately and then uh, uh, deployed everything over there so you can see the landing page over here you can see all the things uh, coming over here you can uh, see the animations happening you can see the price structure right so and then you can also see the detailed pricing which is happening over there and then let me go back over here so it's like how it works right so and then features and then pricing right all the links are working over here right and then uh, uh, monthly and yearly and all the things in rupees right so so everything is there now let us go and log in if i go and log in over here go to google and uh, i've already created a account as you see in the previous demo right so you can see the login related part so it authenticates and once it is succeeded it will go to the dashboard so you can select a file you can select the file within less uh, 1 mb i'm just opening it out so it asks for upload you can upload it out so the upload information comes here the file statistics uh, comes over here right now if you want to create a link you can create a link it will save for seven days and you can create the link now you have the link over here copy this link and open it out over in the next tab right so you have this information now you go and download this particular part this is how the image looks right so this is the uh, information which is uploaded to the database okay so now you can right click and download it out and then you can save the image and then you can download it out and this is what uh, uh, the file is there so if you want to go and share to the uh, related uh, email id you can go and send it to email the email uh, will get sent automatically like uh, email set information right you can click on done so this is where you can uh, do the complete uh, related part you can download here separately and you can delete it out separately right so that also it's there so let me add one more file so that you can get a complete overview so let me take one small file which is there uh, within 2 or mb so let us take this part so let me upload it out so 2 mb is also uploaded now we will go and delete the okay so let it be the new one so i want to check the gmail email related activity right so let me go and uh, see so you can see one email came over here uh, which is there now you can go ahead and download we will get the same file right so uh, which is there as of now so you will reroute to that one and now here you can go over and download the file so email verification is also complete all the verifications are also complete now the dashboard is there you can get the file statistics how many files were loaded how much storage is there as of now so the storage related i think i need to cross check again because it should be only 5 gb but as of now this is a dummy account which i'm using so 
that's it we we'll log out from the you can also go to the profile profile is also present and then if you go to dashboard you have the dashboard ready it's a simple very simple related point so that's it and then log out right very simple application which i don't up from our past two to three hours it's ready it's uh, in front of you which you can use it out as of now it's in the real domain thank you